Hi everyone, my name is Julie Mann and I'm the owner and founder of Lash Tribe. This video is going to be part one of a video series called Julia Answers Your Lash Questions. Let's get right into it. Here we are again. I am on today to answer some questions that have been posted by the Lash Tribe members. Okay, so Susie asks, making my lashes look more dramatic. She usually does like natural looking sets. Um, and can't do anything beyond that, do you recommend a training? With training courses, I've talked uh, to someone else about that recently. Just in the last two years, it is something that is popping up everywhere. People train in lashes with a mediocre or bad training, and obviously some have great training, so that's amazing. And then they go onto lash for a couple of months, and then they wanna go become trainers. Then they copy or they create their own training that is mediocre as well and then they're putting it out for the world to see problem with that is that everyone wants to be a trainer these days so if you are picking a training make sure that person is established they have lots of testimonials and they have exactly what you're looking for so message them send them a dm send them an email and ask them exactly what content um, they have included in in their courses and make sure it is also not just a slideshow or something like that make sure it's actually video recordings and them teaching you how to you'd be surprised how many people and that is not just in the lash industry but um, also I've talked to a friend of mine in the nail industry there's people that sell courses for over a thousand or two thousand dollars and they just give you five modules with a slideshow. And this is what it has come to, unfortunately, these days. I am going to record a separate video on the issue of that, and I don't know how we can fix it, but there must be something we can do to make sure that bad lash trainers and bad courses and people just trying to make money with it, had, they have to be caught out somehow. Otherwise, this industry is just not really evolving. So that's my two cents in regards to training. So yes, training always is amazing. Make sure you, if you do a training, you research them very, very thoroughly and you are in contact. You're having an, an actual conversation with the training academy and make sure they have what you actually are after. If you are after wanting to create dark sets of lashes, you need to find a training that teaches you eye styling and advanced techniques, yeah? Something like that is not always taught in beginner's courses, so make sure you double check on that. And then, obviously, I would like to help you with this right now. But if you're already very good at lashing, but you just don't know how to create those dark sets, a lot of the time it has actually got a lot to do with the client's natural lashes. So if the natural lashes aren't very strong, it is sometimes a bit difficult to create very full lash sets. And if the lashes are very sparse, sometimes that is also an issue. However, obviously there are many op opportunities on how you can do this. So firstly is if you're doing volume, we're talking volume and classic. So if you're doing volume, make sure you do very wide fans, especially on someone with extremely sparse lashes. You have wide gaps in between. Make sure your fans are really wide so they actually cover those gaps up. That's number one. If they have a lot of lashes, you can do uh, layering techniques. Um, it's very difficult to, to sh just talk you through it, but I guess this is where training comes in handy. Doing layering techniques and using very short lashes on the bottom layer or the top layer, depending on the effect that you're after at the end of the day, because sometimes when the client opens their eyes, you want the underneath all dark, or if they open their eyes, you want the top like an eyeliner effect as well. You can do all sorts of things. Um, short lashes will always create more depth. Um, and if you have someone with lots of lashes where you don't have to create those wide fans to cover those gaps up, I would recommend using narrow fans because if you have a narrow fan, you have the base of the fan quite dark and thick, I guess, depending on how many lashes you use within your fan. Um, and then you have the lashes starting a little bit later. So that means all of this area that's dark will be showing up in the lash line. So that will also create some darkness in there. Layering, short lashes, um, short and full, yeah, if you're doing volume. Now in classic lashes, it is a little bit more difficult to create fullness unless the natural lashes have that kind of fullness themselves. However, a lot of people are surprised 
when you are usually using, um, in a classic lash set, you're using, I don't know, 12, 13, 14 millimeters, which I personally don't do, but I know a lot of people still do these days. It looks quite long and spidery, right? It doesn't create much depth. But if you were to do that same client, you would put maybe eight, nine, 10 millimeter on them you will actually create more depth because those lashes aren't long and spidery. They usually tend to stay more in place. They're not going to like droop or they're going to lean over to the side. They're actually going to be creating a little bit of darkness in there. And then also something that's a bit more advanced and I recommend you do a bit of a training course on that because you need to learn about the healthy lash weights and the formulas and everything around it is that you um, can do a bit of stacking um, or even capping of those classic lashes. So you can have one classic lash and put another one on top. Just don't throw lots of heavy lashes on top of each other because you'll create damage um, on the client's natural lashes. And that is it for today for Julia Answers Your Lash Questions. Make sure you subscribe, turn on that notification bell so that you know every time I upload a brand new video, I will see you next time. Bye.